It's a spectacular uh, piece of engineering, extremely difficult to make and, and succeed. He talked about the importance and difficulties of building a type of rocket engine that can generate enough thrust for Starship to leave the Earth's orbit and reach Mars. Safe to say then that the engine is the most complicated part of a rocket and it's really hard to make it reliable since just a minor error could end the rocket's life abruptly in an explosion, if you will. As an example, from 2020 to 2021, SpaceX conducted test flights of Starship prototypes such as s 8, 9, and 10. All failed during testing due to a fault involving one of the three engines. To fully understand the challenges engineers face in building rocket engines, let's take a look at the case of Blue Origin's BE-4 engine, considered to be the biggest disappointment to date. All this and more in today's episode of Great SpaceX. First, why did BE-4 disappoint everyone? Blue Origin began development of the BE-4 rocket engine back in 2011. The engine was selected by the United Launch Alliance, or ULA, to power the first stage of the next generation rocket Vulcan Centaur, under contract between Blue Origin and ULA in 2014. The contract made a very convincing argument that the BE-4 engine would blast Vulcan off the ground for the first time in 2020, more specifically the second quarter, and it means that a pair of engines was expected to be sent sooner. Unfortunately, Blue Origin ended up being late by two years from the initial agreement. The reason for this delay, according to Blue Origin, is mainly due to technical troubles. Jeff Bezos' rocket company encountered a setback in BE-4 testing in May of 2017, given that they lost a set of power pack test hardware for its engine. And because of it still being within the development stage, there was enough time for Blue Origin's engineers to solve the problem and complete their BE-4 rocket engine before delivering it to the customer. In this case, ULA. However, everything got more complicated as Vulcan's flight date came, whereas BE-4 was nowhere to be seen on the rocket. In 2021, Blue Origin announced that they were unlikely to deliver two flight-ready versions of the BE-4 rocket engine to United Launch Alliance before at least the second quarter of 2022, which was caused by a relatively small production issue with the fabrication of the flight engines at Blue Origin's factory in Kent, Washington. The announcement made ULA disappointed as they did not receive a couple of engines as expected, thus their schedule was changed. We are disappointed that we will not be receiving Vulcan flight engines from Blue Origin by the end of the year, but they will be arriving early next year, the company said. The certification program is moving along very well and the production engines are being manufactured. We look forward to Vulcan's first launch in 2022. Indeed, the BE-4's delay unintentionally put ULA in a difficult situation spot. Given that under contract with the U.S. Air Force, the Vulcan rocket needed to fly by the end of 2022. Assuming the company got the BE-4 engine in April of 2022, they would have nearly eight months to prepare everything for the launch. Moving into August of 2022, Blue Origin declared that they shipped the first flight version of BE-4 to Texas for acceptance testing. And about one month later, the much-anticipated rocket engines would be delivered to its customer. This was good news for ULA because during that time, the company was facing a lot of pressure due to punctuality. At the urgency of the USDOD, they had been pressing hard to make a 2022 launch date debut, but unfortunately, Blue Origin rode in on its horse and said, hold your horses, because there's been a minor problem yet again during ground testing, queuing the engine being sent back to Blue Origin's production facilities. But finally, the wait is over. BE-4 passed the acceptance test, or the ATP, on Vulcan Centaur's first certification flight, Cert-1, early 2023. Both ULA and the U.S. Air Force breathed a sigh of relief after a tiring period of waiting. But once again, it seems that Lady Luck is still not on their side, as the engine that was on the Vulcan Centaur prototype exploded last June on the 30th. Sources say that it's due to to bad worksmanship, resulting in the Vulcan Centaur's schedule being pushed back to late 2023, or maybe even later. And the fact that the BE-4 engine continuously encounters problems during ground testing has raised a lot of doubts about the technological level and skill of Blue Origin's engineers, which is partly true because Blue Origin is renowned for its innovative technology and excellent manufacturing that has contributed greatly to the 
development of both the BE-4 and its predecessors. However, as the company neared the critical moment in delivering flight-ready rocket engines to ULA, the engineer responsible for the company's engine development decided to leave. Now let's get into the drama. CEO John Villa in 2022 showed his excellent managerial skill during his time at Blue Origin as he led the team to support eight new Shepard missions powered by BE-3 PM engines and made progress on multiple engine development programs. He also helped the BE-4 rocket engine program back on track. But before his arrival, the engineers and technicians faced numerous challenges in developing and testing the BE-4 that was mainly caused by poor hardware. Villa's departure came at a time while the company was under pressure from ULA, having had to wait too long to receive a pair of engines. Although it wasn't clear why Blue Origin's CEO left, many people supposed that it came from a lack of agreement between the company's new orientation and the collective employee mindset. Absence of key individuals will obviously and seriously affect the program's progress. It's obvious that the BE4 delay continues. We could also see that in this case, Boeing as well as not only their Starliner spacecraft, but also other planes often crash and get delayed. There are speculations that Boeing has lost a large number of experienced and talented personnel leading to their decline. In short, two major problems were disrupting BE-4's progress. Technical problems leading to constant delays and problems related to the company's people, especially the departure of company chief executive, project manager, John Villa. It not only affects the Blue Origin company itself, but also the the individuals involved and their morale. So who else is disappointed in the BE4's current progress? First of all, the person most negatively affected is Blue Origin's customer, obviously ULA. Safe to say that ULA is a reputable and experienced business that has cooperated with the US Air Force for many years. That being the case, delays in Blue Origin delivery prevents the Vulcan Centaur rocket from being launched as scheduled. Rocket-related projects may be altered and thus may result in ULA ULA being subject to penalties for failing to comply with the contract. What's more serious is that the company's reputation will be tarnished significantly. Next are the employees at Blue Origin, specifically the people who are in charge of the development program of the BE-4 engine. CEO John Villa's departure at the most stressful time of the project caused a psychological blow to the remaining members, and as I said earlier, before he went, the BE-4 was a big challenge for Blue Origin's entire team of engineers and technicians. And now that he's gone, the project seems to be at rock bottom. And I'm not sure what the team members are thinking about Villa and his absence, but faced with the worst situation imaginable, it's hard for them to wind down, I assume. And the last victim of BE-4's delay is obviously NASA. Bezos' original idea was to make BE-4 power his rocket New Glenn. His ambition was to design a space station in low Earth orbit called the Orbital Reef, and New Glenn would be the primary means of transporting people and goods between Earth and that space station, which is to replace the International Space Station. NASA was so excited about this project, and they even invested 130 million US dollars under the Space Act Agreement back in 2021. They aimed to maintain an uninterrupted US presence in low Earth orbit by transitioning from the International Space Station to other platforms. The ISS is expected to be decommissioned in 2031, and China's Tiangong Space Station is in its operational phase. Additionally, there are several contracts between NASA and Blue Origin related to the New Glenn rocket, including Escapade to launch a mission to study the Mars magnetosphere and sending the Blue Moon lander to follow Artemis 5 with an expected flight date of 2029. You can only imagine then how NASA would feel when they saw all their major projects halted because of unfortunate rocket engine failures. But the biggest people who feel betrayed has gotta be Blue Origin fans. Public opinion has been hoping that the BE-4 engine can serve both private and national company projects, ultimately contributing to the US winning the race to the surface of the moon and Mars since Blue Origin's inception in 2011. However, the reality is not what they expected and BE-4 lovers may have to wait a long time time to see their engines appear in the sky. But hey, nothing is impossible. Blue Origin's loyal fans remain optimistic about BE-4's status. 
Rocket engine failures are not unusual in the rocket industry. SpaceX also encountered many obstacles in the development of Merlin and Raptor engines. For now, SpaceX's Merlin 1D engine is reliable, and its Falcon 9 rocket has helped SpaceX break many records. Meanwhile, the Raptor has been upgraded to a third version, and the second version is in the stabilization phase to be ready for the upcoming Starship orbital test flight. So what do you think of Blue Origin's rocket engine? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. And and that's all folks, if you want to support our channel and get access to exclusive content, please consider becoming a patron by clicking the link in the description below. We appreciate your generosity and your passion for space exploration. As always, this is Kevin from Great SpaceX, and until next time, keep looking up.